Okay, Assalamualaikum and selamat sejahtera. Okay, so now let's discuss chapter 7. So actually chapter 7 is about mutation. Okay, so first of all, before we proceed, okay, for this chapter actually there are three subtopic. So the first subtopic 7.1, it is about mutation classification and types. And then 7.2 is about gene mutation. And the last one 7.3 is about chromosomal mutation. Okay, so in this video, okay, so firstly I will explain first about uh, subtopic 7.1 which is mutation classification and types. Okay, so first of all, what is mutation? Okay, so awak mesti kena tahu apa itu mutation. So based on the definition, mutation is refers to the permanent changes in the amount, arrangement or structure of the DNA and can be passed to the next generation. Okay, so means that uh, secara ringkasnya, bila berlaku perubahan secara permanent. Okay, permanent ni maksudnya uh, secara kekal. Okay, in the amount arrangement or the structure of the DNA okay so we said that uh, mutation is occur and then it also can be passed to the next generation okay so based on the mutation classification so if you look at here okay mutation can be classified into two the first one we call as gene or point mutation and then second uh, chromosomal mutation okay so first we look at gene or point mutation first okay so what is gene mutation so it is a change in the sequence of nucleotide bases in a single genes okay so means that when there is a changes okay in the sequence of nucleotide base okay so nucleotide base ni kita akan jumpa dekat mana kita akan jumpa pada DNA so bila berlaku perubahan and there is again nucleotide basis okay in a DNA so means that gene mutation is occur okay so based on types of gene mutation there are four types the first one we call as base substitution second base insertion third base deletion and the last one base inversion so actually for gene mutation uh, we are going to discuss it detail okay on subtopic 7.2 okay and then next uh, class uh, next classification of mutation a chromosomal mutation so what is chromosomal mutation it is a mutation that cause abnormalities in chromosomal structure okay or we call as chromosome aberration and changes in chromosome number so changes in chromosome number either it is by aneuploidy or you ploidy maksudnya secara ringkasnya chromosomal mutation ni adalah mutation yang berlaku kepada kromosom sama ada berlaku abnormalities dari segi structure of the chromosome okey berlaku perubahan okey ataupun bila kita tengok dari segi chromosome structure ni adalah berubah ataupun kita panggil sebagai chromosome aberration ataupun bila berlaku perubahan dari segi number ataupun bilangan kromosom okey and then if you look at here, macam yang saya bagi tahu tadi, so untuk chromosomal mutation, so you have to differentiate it either. It is chromosomal aberration. Okay, so chromosomal aberration ni adalah changes in chromosome structure. Or the other, uh, or the other one adalah alteration of chromosome number. Maksudnya changes in the number of the chromosome. Okay, and then next we look at the types of mutation. Okay, so mutation, uh, there are two types. The first one we call as spontaneous mutation. The other one are uh, induced mutation. So what is spontaneous? Spontaneous ni maksudnya adalah spontan. Uh, so means that it is the mistake that happens spontaneously during DNA replication or DNA repair or DNA recombination. Maksudnya bila berlaku mistake ataupun kesalahan secara spontan, okay, di dalam proses yang kita panggil sebagai DNA replication ataupun DNA repair and also DNA recombination, so that we call as spontaneous mu. So the example of the spontaneous mutation is the process that we call as non-disjunction. So this one uh, can be occur. So this non-disjunction can be occur during meiosis. Okay, so this one nanti kita akan discuss uh, detail after this. Okay, and then the other types of mutation are uh, induced mutation. Okay, so what is induced? Okay, so induced mutation, it is the mutation that caused by mutagen. Okay, so maksudnya... Uh, bila berlakunya exposure to mutagen, so akan ada possibility, okay, uh, of that person, okay, ataupun of the individu untuk berlakunya mutation. Uh, so that's why kita panggil sebagai induce, okay. And then uh, if you look at this one, exposure to mutagen. Uh, so what is mutagen? Okay, so the definition of the mutagen, it is refers to the chemical or physical agent that interact with DNA and cause a mutagen. 
mutation. So mutation ni adalah terdiri daripada chemical ataupun physical agent yang mana bila ada chemical ataupun physical agent ni dia boleh interact dengan DNA. So bila dia interact dengan DNA, so maybe dia akan berlaku uh, mistake lah. Okay, dari segi uh, structure of the DNA here. Okay, yang mana dia akan boleh menyebabkan berlakunya mutation. Okay, so what happen? Uh, when there is an exposed to the mutagen, so it will induce changes in DNA. Okay, so if you look at here, uh, so you can give lah example for both physical and also chemical agents. So for physical agent, you can give the example such as ultraviolet, ionizing radiation, for the example X-ray, gamma ray, alpha particles, neutron and also electron. Okay, why for chemical agent, the example that you can give uh, mustard gas, nitrous acid, base analog, cosikin and also ethidium bromide. Okay, so for this one ni, untuk physical agent ni yang paling mudahnya, uh, the example adalah ultraviolet, okay, UV ataupun ionizing radiation. Okay, so X-ray lah. Okay, and then for chemical agent, so the example is mustard gas. Okay, and then the other one, if you look at here, okay, what is mutant? Ah, so means that you have to know the terms mutant here. So mutant is refers to the organism that carrying a gene that has undergo mutation that shows new phenotype traits as a result from mutation. Okay, so means that for the organism, okay, ataupun for the person uh, uh, that is already undergo mutation, okay, so that organism or individual we call as a mutant because of what? That organism will carry a gene that already undergo mutation. And also, it will show a new phenotype trait as a result from the mutation. Okay, so that's all for subtopic 7.1. Okay, so after this, we continue with subtopic 7.2.